Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna be looking at aligning the mirrors on your Monport 60 watt CO2 laser. Uh, aligning the mirrors is one of the first things you have to do when you get a laser. And believe me when I tell you, it sounds way more intimidating than it really is. So without further ado, let's start aligning the mirrors and get up and running. Okay, so we're behind the laser right now. At this point, before you even start, you wanna make sure that the water is hooked up to the machine. That's the most important thing because you never, ever, ever want to run the laser without the water on. Assuming that you're all hooked up to that point, we don't power on the machine yet. I'm just opening up the back here to look at the back. Here's the tube, and here's the first mirror right here that we're going to test. So I'm gonna adjust the camera so we can get a better look at it and show you exactly what we need to do. Okay, here we are up close at the first mirror and I'd like you to get a piece of painter's tape and put it right over. And then what I want you to do is I want you to press around the outer ring so that it kind of makes an impression so you can see the actual circle. And the reason why we're gonna do that is because when we fire a pulse and it's going to burn into the tape, it's going to give you a reference to see how close to center uh, the, the laser is hitting. So make a good impression so you see the circle, and then we're gonna fire it up. Okay, we're back in front of the controller. Before we even fire a pulse, or even turn the key to engage the laser, we want to set our max power to 15. It's very simple, you're gonna hit max power here, and then you're gonna dial it down to it says 15, Hit the center button here, it will come down again. Do the same thing, 15, and hit enter. And then that way it's only sending a pulse 15% of the laser power. So once you've done that, then engage the key and hit pulse. Turn the key off, and let's go back and take a look. Okay, so you can see the laser mark on the tape. And this looks pretty close to center, and that's what we're looking for. We're just looking for it to be in that vicinity. Keep in mind that the adjustments for this are not for this mirror. It's going to rotate this mirror and affect the pulse on the second mirror. So this looks pretty good. We're going to go on to the second mirror. We're going to remove the tape. And let's go on to mirror number two. Okay guys, so we're off to the side here, but we're off to the side for a reason. Mirror number two is back here. So that's what we're gonna be working on. But before we do anything, we want to turn the laser off. We don't want any type of firing inside while our hands are in there. So now with it turned off, now we can get into the back there to put a piece of painter's tape on that mirror and not have to worry about being zapped. Okay, so you can see I have a piece of tape on the mirror right there. The laser is moved all the way forward, and now we're going to turn the laser on and fire another pulse. Okay, so you can see that the laser is moved all the way forward, and you can see I have the painter's tape right there around the mirror. So now we're going to turn the key on and fire another pulse. Okay, now let's turn the key on. And we're gonna hit pulse. And now, once again, turn it off. All right, let's go check the tape. Okay, so you can see the pulse and it looks pretty good. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to move this mirror all the way to the rear. And we're going to fire another pulse and we're going to see how the two line up. Okay, so with the tape still on, we're going to move it all the way to the rear. Make sure your key is on and we'll fire another pulse. Now we'll shut it off. And now what you wanna do is you wanna see how the holes that the pulse made line up. Okay, so I removed the tape from mirror two and I just wrote here top because I know that, that is this is the top part of the tape when it was on the mirror. And as you can see right here, Pretty close. 
And that's kind of what we're looking for. It does not have to be perfect right on top of each other. Uh, but if they're a lot further apart, that's when you want to go back to mirror one and make some adjustments. But right now, this is looking pretty good. Okay, so we're back at mirror one with the tape. And let's say, hypothetically, yours were not even close to aligning. So you're going to take an eight millimeter wrench and you're going to loosen here, here, or here. This is for up and down. This is for left and right. And this is for diagonal. Now I can tell you that it's very sensitive. So even the slightest turn will make a difference. So you'll want to loosen one of these and give it a slight turn either way in the direction that you want to go. That's why I brought the tape over here because let's say like it made a mark down here. Maybe you want to go diagonal. Maybe you want to go left and up. So keep it in front of you as a reference. Okay, now we're on to mirror three. Same idea, painter's tape. And I have it moved all the way to the right. I'm now going to turn the key to turn the laser on and fire a pulse. Now I'm going to adjust the camera and we're gonna move the laser all the way to the left and fire another pulse. Okay, I'm gonna move the camera and move the laser and fire another pulse. All right, let's take the tape off and see how we look. And as you can see, they are right on top of each other. So now we're going to go through one final test uh, in each corner and see how they all land. Okay, I got myself a fresh new piece of painter's tape over here. And I'm going to move it all to the four corners and fire pulses and see where we stand. I'm going to turn the key, fire a pulse. I'm going to move it to the left. Fire a pulse. Move it up here. Fire a pulse. And move it out here. And fire a pulse. So now let's take the tape off and see where we stand. Actually, the first thing you want to do is turn the key off. right on top of each other now of course I've already done the adjustments so I knew that it was going to be like that but that is what you're looking for or at least right in the close vicinity okay with the mirrors done the last is to make sure that the laser is firing directly down straight center so we're going to get a piece of painter's tape and we're going to make a good impression here around the nozzle Okay, and then we're going to turn the key on again and fire another pulse. Turn the key off and let's see how it looks. And that looks pretty good. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to be in the general vicinity. You can make adjustments if you want and I can show you how to do that right now. So let's say that you do want to make adjustments to it. It has the same adjustments on here as the other mirrors, but it's kind of flipped a little bit. So this is the left, right. This is the diagonal and this is the up down. Okay. So lastly, we're going to see how the laser itself is firing down. And I'm going to grab a thin piece of stock and I'm going to raise it till it's close to touching the nozzle, but not quite touching it. I'm going to turn the key on and I'm going to fire a pulse. Now I'm going to raise it 
couple inches, roughly two. And I'm going to fire another pulse. Turn the key off. And again, right on top of each other. Now, if you need to make adjustments, I'll flip the camera around and show you right here. So as you notice, they are the same type of adjustments, but they're just in a slightly different uh, direction. So this is left to right, this is diagonal, and this is up and down. So that's it. So as you can see, the process itself is more tedious than it is difficult. It's definitely not as intimidating as it sounds. I know that's how I felt after I went through it. It was a nice relief. It, was de it definitely sounded worse in the beginning uh, than actually doing it.